Thank you, Jagama, for subscribing to the channel or being subscribed to the channel. Uh, I hope you enjoy the content I'll, and I'll see you in the videos. Hello, my name is Dr. Shambles and today we are going to be looking at my at my games on OPO9. Now, I usually do a video of my first experience with the decks, but you know, I'm kind of excited because I haven't been playing uh, One Piece in real life for a while and I've been only on the sim. So obviously every time I had the chance I would just hop on and play whatever meta. So I already tried OPO9, so instead we're gonna have the usual uh, replays. Now, I'm not gonna go uh, through a lot of the of the deck list uh, or the strategy. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the of my OPO 8.5 profile where you guys can see a better explanation of uh, of the OPO 8.5, but also OPO 9 where I actually go through. Not only that, I'm gonna leave in the description two examples of deck lists for you guys to know the two strategies that you can use with Purple Luffy. There's the mid range, which is the one I'm using, which pretty much idolizes you not using nine cost cards, just seven costs with Kid and uh, Luffy Taro, and you pretty much swarm the board and keep your Luffy very, very high on power. You can, you usually play one to two kits per game, and then you have the Captain Kid blocker that pretty much keeps your Dawn up very well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, while the um, the other variant is the explosion, it's the explosion variant, which pretty much um, means you are only playing straw hats, and then you actually play the um, you actually play rush, uh, which is with this new Luffy, and you play um, the gear five as well. Sometimes you play this Sanji, so it's uh, a lot consistent because you never whiff with your which are a uh, law searcher, but I this one is cheaper and it's the one I'm gonna use. It works incredible. Both of them are incredible, so it's up to you. But yeah, so this is all I'm gonna go through. I hope you guys enjoy the games and I'll see you all there. <laughs> okay, so here is the first game. Just a minor disclaimer. Uh, one, these uh, uh, replays are not sped up because the meta is really fast, at least with Purple Luffy, so I didn't feel the need and sometimes I miss plays because it's sped up. Two, uh, against this slim, I was still using somewhat of an older decklist, so I was still using Kaidos and I was not using the blocker Kid, I was using the blocker Law. Still, it is in fact a OPO9 build as you guys can see for the vanilla Ozop. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, Against Slim, this was my first game, so I was really happy to capture it. Didn't know anything about the strategy. So yeah, she is not entirely bad, but I can see why she's not mad, you know? So we went second, she chose to go first. I usually like to go first. This also means, we. I like to have the first swing, but this also means we only need to use... Um, we only need to use our leader ability on our third turn, which is right now, because we want to be, we want to be swarming the board with Luffy Taro. That's the whole point of the strategy. She countered the swing into leader. <laughs> oh my god! And I was so afraid she would like block my leader swing onto the searcher. She blocked, she, what? She countered the leader swing? No, she, uh, she countered the searcher swing into. <laughs> Sorry, I switched the words there. So her strategy is not bad because, uh, why did she, I, I didn't even remember she swung into the, the searcher there, but okay. Her strategy is not entirely bad because as you guys can see here, she can swing with the leader uh, as much as she, as she wants because once she passes turn, the blocker, she can swing with the blocker as much as she wants because once she passes the turn, the block comes up, which is really nice to give her an extra swing. Here we're just gonna swing with Sangoru that we set up with Luffy Taro, get a draw. I had eight on. I'm gonna swing with Luffy Taro. I am thinking about just playing the Onami and the Zorojuro. Yeah, we just. We're not even gonna swing now with the leader. Was trying to to bait the block, but we couldn't, so we're just gonna pass turn. Onami is a very annoying blocker, so yeah. <clears throat> Pretty much, uh, for what I see, the meta, the people are not running much 
board wiping besides the black color and um, and maybe uh, yellow. But yellow, the the removal on yellow is not that consistent. Um, so Onami is very annoying because she's a four cost. People that um, KO by power are not running that much of um, board wiping. So yeah. She's a really good card. Okay, we take that Shanks swing. I, I was just um, thinking about blocking with Onami if he swung into into board. He has a lot of cards in hand, so yeah. So yeah, as you guys can see, Blocker Law from the old deck list that I was using. He came clutch on this situation, but uh, the Blocker Kid is actually better. We'll see on the next um, replays. I'm gonna make a 7 swing here. I'm trying to bait that block. But he knows if he loses that blocker, um, he's pretty much done. So yeah. And now he used 2 1Ks and not uh, 1 2K. So uh, this means he ran out of 2Ks. Unless he just drew one, but still. This gave us information that we can put a lot of pressure next. So I was afraid of Hody Jones, so... Because I don't know any... I didn't know any... I still don't know, to be honest. Um, nothing about Lim, so I was afraid she played uh, Hody Jones. So yeah. We can take now, because she cannot play Hoodie Jones, she played another 10 drop Tofi. She is a... Um, she is a control deck, I guess. Yeah. And we took that life also because I want to have the blocker law swing. We know she doesn't have 2Ks, or if she has, she only has 1. So we can pretty much go for the... For the Kaido. Swing 5, she counters, now we can go 7 and 10. And she takes, and that game. You guys will see here, she had a 2k, so she actually top deck a 2k, so my, my Dawn split was good. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, here I was just checking what the cards do. Next game is against Hancock. Um, I don't know how good she is in this meta. Um, I think she dropped a lot, right? I don't know. To be honest, I haven't seen many. Dofi is really good, but the strategy that I'm using, the mid-range uh, purple Luffy, is really nice against Dofi. So, which is a plus to me, to be honest. I was struggling a lot against that leader. I played the law. I managed to go first. And uh, I have already a Zorjur, so there's no need to... There's no need to Mulligan. We're gonna have a lot of draw. We got a 2k where I have, have a Luffy Taro with a target to play with next turn, which is another Zorjur Searcher. So he didn't grab Sangoro, he just grabbed a 2k, but he... He reset the hand, but we still have the exact same targets. <laughs> so... We the main character. We have that plot armor. We swing 5. This is pretty much your most basic line combos. Is second turn, you take a life, play Zorjuro. Third turn, you take a life, play Lufitaro with a target. And I can't grab anything. The only time in my life this Zorjuro has ever whiffed. And I caught it on camera, I swear. So with this, we already have 3 bodies. Making us able to make four comfortable swings. She made the misplay here very bad. I don't know why she would do this. You wouldn't have mattered to be honest, because uh, even if she swung with uh, into leader, we just discard uh, vanilla up. We don't really need it anymore. But all this silly that was a misplay. I guess she didn't notice we had a uh, Zorjuro is a six k. Which is really weird, you know. I don't normally I would leave one Dawn up for the Gum Gum Giant, 
But we have so many lives and so much board, I don't think we need. And yeah, we can't... Uh, we almost whiffed that, but it's not really the best target, the Gum Gum Giant. Because we don't have Dawns up. And it, it, we don't really need it, but yeah. But as, like, you guys can see on right here the strength of the deck. Like, we are... We are... So... We are so ahead because we build boards so easily. And it's big bodies too. There you go, we ended up using the Uzop as a, a 1k. We have Luffy, Taru, but we don't have a target. And I can't go for game, and so I'm gonna make a 5k swing to make a counter. There you go. And I'm gonna go for board. Or not. Wait, I'm gonna use Luffy Tar to go for board. <laughs> but I should have gone for board right then and there. A little misplay on my behalf. Yeah. And I'm gonna make a 9k. I wanna play that queen. He lets it go. If you blocked, we would just make the exact same swing. Um, with the other Lufitaro. So yeah, and I'm gonna play Queen. Just get a draw. We're gonna discard a Gum Gum Giant. No, actually Lufitaro. Yeah, there you go. Lufitaro is a better target. And now we have a Dawn up. At this point, we don't really need to save up on Dawn or anything. So, yeah. Whew. I was... I learned my lesson, guys. If you guys saw the other videos, so many times I have a free block and I just don't use it. I think, like, most of the time, it's just better to, to use that free block. There you go. I didn't want to use that 2k, I wanted to draw more cards, that's why I used the Gum Gum Giant. Because blue does not have rush, so we gotta keep that in mind. So I, I decided to go a little bit up on hand size, just in case I drew something for the next turn. Although we don't really need anything. I mean, we have we have six swings, and we are talking about six big, big swings. There you go. She's trying to build board. Whatever. We do not care. We can go safely for turn. She gives up. Yeah. She didn't even let me type GG. So yeah. Uh, there was no way. She didn't even have co had counter. We had too many swings. And last game, I saved the best for last, which is against Shanks. This was actually my first game against Shanks. Now, it was the first game against Shanks with uh, OPO9 Luffy. I from, from time to time, I still play with OPO 8.5. So I've played against Shanks. I know what it does. I also tried the deck, by the way. Um, so I know what the deck does. So I'm not in the dark here. But I, this was the first OPO9, um, yeah, <laughs> the first OPO9 try that I did on him, and um, and yeah, we can't really swing because of his leader ability. Grab the 2k, by the way, there because we already have a target with Luffy Taro, which is that vanilla Usopp, which is why I really love OPO9 Purple Luffy. Like you get so much consistency, you can you always have a play that you can do. It's it's really nice. This mid-range is really nice, I'm really enjoying it. I haven't tried the explosive one. I know how it works, but I haven't tried the, the explosive yet. So I don't really know uh, if it's better against Shanks, but I know the mid-range is better against Dofi and, um, and better against the green color as well. I tried to make a, a sneak swing, maybe he would let it go and counter, but obviously not. He already told me that he, he does not lack. He's paying attention. Plays Uta. So that's why he set up the Makino. Makino is gonna then give Uta 3k. Not a bad play, but I haven't seen many Makinos in, in Shanks' uh, uh, decklist. Unless it has changed by the time you guys are watching this video. But yeah, I don't think you really need it. <laughs> I 
Oh, really weird. I should have just made a 6k swing. Oh, I, I guess, I guess why. I know why now, because he has the leader ability, I wanted to make sure he countered. He doesn't really need to counter though, but we don't have much to do, so I'm just gonna try to accelerate the game as much as possible by just swinging. Uh, we will not play Lufitaro here, we have no targets, so I'm probably just gonna go for the queen. Recycle the hand. Recycle no, cycle the hand a little bit. He's thinking a lot of what he should do. I think he was thinking about just um, using his leader ability right then and there, which would help me a lot, but he didn't do it. He used it now on Zorjo. There you go. And we just take Lufitaro out. We don't have really that many targets, so I'm just gonna play the for the kid there, the seven cost kid. Wait, I forgot, I just noticed, I forgot to swing with Lufitaru, oh my god, I just noticed that, holy shit, come on, man. <laughs> really? Actually, I ended up not being bad, because now he can swing on to the Lufitaru. I think in, uh, right, or am I crazy? I'm probably crazy. I was thinking about sending that kid blocker, but I kind of really need the kid blocker to for the seven cost kid. So yeah. So first things first, I'm just gonna make a swing here with Uzop, trying to bait his leader ability. Obviously, he's not going to do it. I I was thinking about if he used the the leader ability uh, right there and then on my leader, because I was already planning on using my leader swing onto that Makino. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let him keep swinging at my lives. I'm uh, like I'm only gonna take that Makino there. I don't know. It's he has too many cards in hand for me to even try to to take away the the Yazop. If that's his name, the Uzop's dad. Yeah, I think it's Yazop. So so there wasn't really a need there. So we just keep the pressure. He discarded two one case. This means he doesn't have a lot of. Um, a lot of he doesn't have two Ks actually, so yeah, and he discarded two blockers, so that that made me very comfortable. I hate that blocker. That blocker is a menace against the purple Luffy because we have a lot of six K power characters, and so that just takes it away. Was thinking about will he play the Shanks? He, if he play the Shanks, we would be in trouble. Nope, he, he plays the Shanks, but not the Shanks I was expecting. I didn't know people play these Shanks, I thought they only played the new one. <laughs> but well played on his part, he got rid of my kids. He forgot that I was a like 6k, nothing he could do to be honest, it wouldn't be the same. So yeah. I was hoping he would swing onto my... Uh, Onto my board, <laughs> like I like maybe Rayleigh trying to get take away that Luffy Taro. Obviously, he would not, but I was kind of hoping, man. I was kind of hoping. But with the now he's at five cards in hand, and we already know he doesn't have many um, two Ks, or if he has any at all. So next turn, I'm gonna see what I can do um, onto his board. Yeah, I really want that kid blocker. Yeah, so I'm thinking what could be the best numbers here. 
because we need to take into account his leader ability, which is very annoying. Okay, there you go. We're gonna swing onto Yazop first. Okie dokie. And now I don't think I I'm just gonna make 8k swing here on Rayleigh. There you go, his leader ability. We, I actually, finally, I baited his leader ability. I need to put a blocker. Yeah, there you go. So he has no counter. But he has no leader ability, so that just made me go uh, free swing. He only had a 1k, he didn't have a 2k. The, the Dawn distribution, I know it was very weird. But I was just trying to see if I could bait his little ability as soon as possible, which I did. And I'm still afraid of the, um, the 10 drops chunks with Rush. Nope, no, there's no 10 drop chunks. He plays the power depletion uh, the guy, which I don't remember his name. Was expecting a a rally here, but he plays the new gate. Gives it to Uta, so we already know he's going to try and take and make a 5k swing onto Uta, which we are just going to block. There, you go. we're just going to block. I'm not going down on cards in hand. He's going to take a 6k. Uh, from the board right now. We don't have the, the seven cost kit, so if he takes the kit blocker, whatever. There you go. So we actually got the seven seven cost kit right up. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm gonna try to go for game. I was super confident because he, we knew we had information and he didn't really have um, that, that many cards. So we went 8k, 9k and we're going 10k. We know he doesn't have many 2k's. Okay. And he still takes. He couldn't defend it. So yeah, he, he left and this whole bucked, so yeah. But we won. We made a perfect on distribution there at the end, which I was really proud of. Uh, I played well. So I played, like, now looking from the outside, my plays will seem a bit weird, but we need to keep in, in check that it was all because of the his leader ability. I was just trying to, to bait it out of him, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Uh, if you enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing. Maybe share with your friends, I don't know, to tell them about the new best tech, which is uh, Purple Luffy. <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.